Pennsylvania Congressman Scott Perry has been at the center of the investigation into January 6th. His cell phone was seized last week. Tonight, in an exclusive interview, he's talking to WTAJ's Capitol reporter Dennis Owens. Nobody thinks and wants or has a goal of having the FBI visit them. But three agents visited Perry and his family on vacation and asked for his personal cell phone. They took the phone. They said they were going to image it, not search it, but image it and return it to me, which is what they did. Of course, none of that is normal. You know, they did it that way. To, it seems to be to make a public spectacle. I don't really know what to make of that. And of course, I don't get to know what any of this is about. So it's not easy to kind of live your life on this ride where you don't know where you're headed. Mr. President, sadly but resolutely, I object to the electoral votes of my beloved Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The ride began with the 2020 election, which Perry has publicly questioned and officially challenged. He's also alleged to have tried to oust the sitting attorney general, who was not doing enough, in his view, to overturn the election results. This overturn the election. Having questions about the conduct of an election is not overturning the election. Yeah, I objected to the electors. And I just remind you, Dennis, that for 20 years, for two decades, every time a Republican was elected president, the Democrats objected. No one was, no one had their cell phone taken. No one was told they tried to overturn the election. It's, but we, uh, they were legitimate questions, right? We but had at the people, same time, Scott, no one stormed the Capitol and said, hang Mike Pence either in any of those uh, other instances. And, 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 and I would agree with that. The way that this uh, went down is something uh, that really makes you stand up and take notice. John Jones is a former federal judge appointed by a Republican. He says the Justice Department is typically cautious about meddling with politicians so close to an election. I think what it indicates is that there is an evolving uh, investigation uh, and there was a need to get that phone um, pursuant to the uh, investigation. It was something that couldn't wait until uh, after uh, November. But Perry insists, though his phone was targeted, he's not the target. It's not illegal to introduce the president to the assistant attorney general of the United States. It's not illegal to, to have a disagreement or, or even to... Uh, object to the electors. That's that's part of the job. What is a congressman from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania doing in the middle of this national story? Dennis, you know me. I don't shy away from tough issues or from uh, controversial things. If I think it's the right thing to do, that's what I'm going to do. And, and, and so this is where this has led me. That was Dennis Owens reporting.